hello my nature explorers and welcome to my nature hood. Nature hood is genuine neighborhood. Nope, you heard me right. I said nature hood. Nature hood is the nature in your neighborhood. The soil, the sky, the plants, the flowers, even the insects. Oh, what's that over there? Let's go see. Today, together, we will discover the magic of flowers. Where can we start to look for the source of this magic? Their color, their shape, their smell, their size, their texture. Let's get a little closer using some of our senses. Our sense of sight, smell, and touch. Did you know that there are male and female flowers? You may also be surprised to know that there are some flowers that are both male and female. The stem, the petals, the stamens, and the pistils are the different parts of the flowers. And each one is as important as the other. Let me tell you why. The stem connects the flowers to the ground and keeps it alive. The petals, they protect the male and female parts and attract pollinators like insects and birds. And then the stamens have the pollen, which is the male part of the flower and looks like fairy dust. Many insects, birds, and even other animals like bats love this magical dust. Lastly, the pistils guard the female parts of the flower. Once the pollen and the female parts are together, the flowers make delicious and healthy seeds and fruits. Isn't it like true magic? But how does this change happen? This is where flowers put all their charm into action. Their shape, size, and color of their petals are a way of saying, hey pollinator friends, here I am, come visit me. Then they come to feed on pollen and drink some nectar. And while they walk on the petals and the stamens, the little pollen dust sticks to their legs, wings, and antennas and they can bring it to different flowers, where the pollen will be united with the female part of the flower. Amazing, right? But not only pollinators are attracted to flowers, we humans also get amazed by their magical beauty. You and I can help nature with simple actions like growing some flowers around your home. How cool would it be to have some flower magic right around your own home? This is what we did at Dawson College by building the Peace Garden, where we have gathered beautiful flowers where pollinators can have some food, the flowers can make seeds, and we human beings can enjoy their beauty and their smell, which by the way, makes us feel calm and happy. The Peace Garden has many flowers that attract many other living things. For example, thistle, a beautiful flower that insects and birds love to visit that I'll tell you more about in the next video. See you soon, explorers!